Good morning everyone, thank you for the presentation. Uh, we know that cancer stem cells are responsible for sustaining tumor growth in model uh, system. And then uh, we know also that uh, uh, tumor uh, are, uh, are abnormal tissues, so they, uh, they have a, a, a hierarchical organization and uh, the apex of this, this uh, hierarchy, uh, there are cancer uh, stem cells. So today we know that uh, cancer stem cells exist in different tumor, have been isolated in a long list uh, of solid tumor and, uh, um, and hematological, disease, uh, hematological disease. And uh, we know that cancer stem cells have, have an increased ability to repair DNA damage and probably this is the, this is responsible for their resist, uh, resistance to chemotherapy and uh, Radiation. So we need the new, new, new drugs to targeting uh, cancer stem cell and to, um, to reach a long-term uh, remission. Uh, probably this drug uh, uh, would not have a direct uh, um, effect on the sites of the tumor, but uh, tumor um, losing cancer stem cell lose also the ability to generate a new cell and uh, because we know that activating keras uh, mutation are present uh, in, in all pancreatic adenocarcinoma would be very interesting trying to modulate uh, the keras activity we switch off keras in, in this tumor uh, after a few weeks uh, the tumor undergo uh, a, 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 an amazing uh, uh, reduction in volume uh, a, a total regression and uh, at the end they are just uh, scars and uh, with, with few epithelial cells uh, inside the, the, the stroma. But uh, if we reactivate uh, uh, KRAS in this tumor, even uh, <clears throat> months after the regression, uh, the tumor relapsed. So it means that uh, inside uh, this, uh, this, um, this tumor, this regressive tumor, there are uh, active uh, uh, tumorigenic cells. So I try to study this model uh, uh, from uh, a stem cell point of view and uh, I try um, to um, see if uh, um, cells from this tumor are able to form a sphere. spheres. Cancer, uh, sp uh, tumor spheres are um, uh, a well-known uh, surrogate of cancer stem cell and I've done a very uh, simple experiment so I uh, digested to single cell suspension sphere um, from this tumor and I plated this cell in, in presence of doxycycline or, or, or of doxycycline to maintain or repress the expression of KRAS. And what I found is that the formation of tumor sphere depends on the expression of KRAS. In fact, in the absence of KRAS, tumorigenic, uh, spherogenic sphere remain a single cell in culture. And if we express again uh, KRAS in this cell, they reform sphere, but uh, there, there is a decrease in spherogenic potential uh, during uh, KRAS extinction, and after, after one week, uh, just the 10%, so a very small fraction of the cell that the beginner are able to give a, a sphere, generate a, a sphere if we reactivate uh, KRAS. And the possible explanation is that uh, sphere cell undergo a massive apoptosis uh, at the day four after um, KRAS extinction, but KRAS uh, seems to exert a different function in different cells inside the sphere. So our goal is to try to understand if it's possible to eradicate uh, this population and uh, at the moment we are uh, working, uh, trying to uh, evaluate the drug resistance of, uh, of this population and we are also evaluating, uh, actually we have already data about the role during a relapse of this, uh, of this uh, subpopulation. Um, we tar what are going? We, we are going. Uh, <clears throat> we are going is that uh, we, we want to profile uh, gene profile uh, this uh, this population. Try to find uh, the molecular mechanism that regulate their behavior, but also find uh, new uh, therapeutic targets to eradicate uh, this quiescent cell. Thank you very much. Thank you.